Welcome to Lena Makes. I'm Lena, and today I'm going to be deep cleaning my office slash craft room slash warehouse. Ever since I started my Etsy shop, I have a ton of packaging materials that I seriously need to get organized. But in order to do this, I need to clean out this insane closet that I have. I usually put everything in here from crafting supplies to packaging materials to things that I think I'm going to use in future projects, things that I will never use probably. So I made a quick target run and purchased this Brightroom utility cart. I've made fun of these in the past, but I figured why not give it a try. I was literally in the aisle for like 30 minutes trying to figure out which one would fit in my closet. Ultimately, I settled on this one and it was on sale. So right out of the box, it gives you everything you need. It's pretty simple and straightforward to put together. It gives you your wrench to tighten the wheels and some screws to put the shelves on. And everything just kind of snaps as it should. And it took me about five minutes to put together. and done. It even comes with wheel locks and it's made of metal so it's pretty sturdy and it glides really well. The wheels are not those plastic cheapy kind and it's compatible with other bright room accessories so I got this top because it was also on sale for five bucks. So let's see if it can save my closet. Now it's time to figure out what's actually in here and let's just clear the air. I am the pink ranger in case you were wondering. But moving on, I save things like it's no one's business and this closet was in desperate need of a cleaning. It has been a long time since the last time I cleaned it out and it was becoming increasingly difficult to find things for my crafts, so much so that I stopped crafting. So it was time to let go of junk and organize what I wanted to keep like this little guy. He's the prototype and the one and only Beryl Dixon. I made him years ago when I was creating a series called The Walking Ted and I cherish him with my heart and soul, but that's a story for another time. I have tons of things in here I'll probably never get to, lots of packaging materials and so many gifts that were unnecessary. And now it's time to play a little game called How, How Many, many backpacks? backpacks Do I Have in My Closet? I have a love for backpacks, I don't know what it is, but for all occasions, all outfits, I probably have a bag for it. And then there's this. As someone who owns a sewing machine and likes to make costumes, I tend to rack up a lot of fabrics. And I mean a lot of fabrics. I have a record player without any records, potentially broken, a sheet music stand for when I picked up violin again, and this monster. This is where I keep all my stationary stuff, adhesives, tapes, glues, paints, and who knows what else. Yeah, that's a sign. I wasn't even exaggerating. These filing cabinets are extremely heavy, weighing anywhere between 50 to 100 pounds. So I have no idea how much this thing weighs, but it was way too much for me. <laughs> Get it? Moving on. I found the stack of bags I kept after ordering from Shein because it's so much plastic and I hate wasting, but I'll probably use it to organize. Me realizing I wasted money buying more mason jars when I already had mason jars on hand. Oh, and look. This red dress is something I upcycled for an 80s music video that I was in where I was bitten by a zombie and died. Yeah, you should check that out. It even still has some of the fake blood on it. Good times. Ah, uh, some handmade jewelry I used to sell back in my early 20s. I have no idea what to do with this now. And I even have lanyards from some of the shows. That's great. Maybe I'll sell these again? I don't even know that I want to get this deep into the closet and do the top, but I know there are some boxes that I've been holding on to just for the sake of it that need to get tossed. Okay, seriously, more canvases. I don't even paint this much. All right, finally time to organize this insanity. Good thing I found this sweet rubber band ball. Does anyone remember these old school pens with the different colors? These were so useless, to be honest. 
or pocket dictionaries? Come on. I figured I'd use these bags to hold all my stationery. And no, this video is not sponsored by Shein. I just didn't feel like buying anything else. Oh my god, I was actually looking for this so I could show my boyfriend that I participated in a 5k zombie mud run. Yeah, that was the thing. And look at these old school cameras. Oh my gosh, what, what, why do I have these? I don't know. I think this was the first camera that I ever got. No, that's actually not true. First digital camera, maybe? Or actually, wait, no. I think this was the first. It was a webcam. Oh, wow. I'm dating myself. So I said the Walking Ted story was going to be safe for another time, but I forgot completely that I made a ton of stickers of all the characters as well. Oh man, it's still a story for another time, but I, what should I do with these? Should I sell them? What is this old school MP3 player? Two, two gigs. All my cartoon fandom is showing. I have wood plaques for my wood burning kit. What a 10 gauge knitting need? I don't even knit. As I mentioned, some of the stuff was gifts. Some of the stuff is just given to me. Like, oh, my pin maker. This actually might come in handy. Now it's time to get into the good stuff. What is in these bags? I have some socks that don't fit my dog. Don't know why I still have them. Bunch of candle making things, glitter, stickers, holiday things. I wanted to use the label maker I found, but it ran out of labels. So this will have to do. The reason I got this utility cart was specifically for my packaging supplies, and that way I can get back the space I have in my corner. That way I can actually get in and out of my closet when I need to. One thing I do wish about the cart was that it was adjustable. I was having some difficulty laying out the things I had on the shelves because the distance between the shelves were so tight, but it works for now. Now it's time to see if everything fits. I was running out of daylight and starving at this point, so I did a lot of organizing the other stuff you still see off camera. There were a bunch of things that got tossed. Some stuff ended up in my basement, which might be another video at a later time. But here's the end result. After many hours, I got my room back to the way it should be, clutter-free and inspiring to work in. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Did this little cart help me get my closet in order? I would say yes. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is so much better than the way it was. I can access my backdrop easily. I have access to my photo equipment bag and my drawers have never been cleaner. I know where things are and if I need to get something, I can easily just wheel this little thing out and that is what I bought this for. Portable, easy access to all of my supplies whenever I need them. I can package things simply. And yes, this part is still crazy, but I am going to get another one so that I can properly arrange that stuff. Now that I know the power of a utility cart, I'm going to be adding a lot of these to the rest of the house, and I wonder how I didn't get them before. But I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it motivated you to clean your own craft room. Let me know and share some organizing tips that you might have, and hope to see you in the next one.